Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will explore the wooden shoes of Holland. These wooden shoes are also known as clogs since the 13th century. They were traditionally worn by farmers, factory workers, artisans, fishermen and other trade workers. You may see the intricate carvings in wood. At Zanzeshan is a popular tourist destination for traditional Dutch culture with a maximum variety of design clocks. If we look back into its history, this old painting depicts the former fashion of Dutch culture, how the wooden shoes were part of their lifestyle. There are three main types: wooden upper, wooden sole, and overshoes. school going children workers and for tap dancing this was the former use of wooden shoes but for now they are more of souvenirs for tourist attractions let's see how they are being made from the tree is still inside back in the days all wooden shoes were made by hand they used a large pole knife for the outside Several sizes of so-called spoon scoops for the inside. Pretty hard work, at least two and a half to three hours. On the machines, only five minutes. This machine will make the outside shape works the same way as duplicating a key. We're gonna make an exact copy of the model. Result: A wooden shoe for a child of four years old. It looks quite big for a four-year-old. The shoes are quite big. They're a little too big. One finger space extra room behind the heels, and the thing with socks is where they're comfortable to wear. But wear these wooden shoes because they're warm, they're waterproof, and they're official safety shoes. They're very strong. <coughs> wow! I hope that was informative and beautiful, isn't it? At the shop you will find so many varieties of souvenirs in the form of keychain, refrigerator magnets, wearable shoes and lot of home decor items. After witnessing such an incredible craft, I head my way to another antique shop. Let's go. That looks like handmade soap corner. A lot of beautiful antiques. That's lovely art on crockery. And that's a blue theme glass art. Amazing. And that brings us back to Zanze Shan Windmill View. You can also check out my other video on cheese making in Zanze. That is it for now. I hope you like it. See you until next.